Hi, and welcome to our notes for section 7.2, the substitution method. You remember from last year and earlier this year, certain equations come in slope, intercept, form. Everybody's favorite, y equals mx plus b. Well, the substitution method says take one equation in y equals mx plus b, take a second equation in y equals mx plus b, and the trick here is that you take the mx plus b parts and set those equal to each other. After you set them equal, you solve for x, and then you find y. Let me show you how it works. Say we had the equation y equals 3x plus 4. And the second equation in our system was y equals 2x minus 5. The rule of substitution says take the mx plus b from the first equation and write it down. Set that equal to the mx plus b from the second equation, 2x minus 5, and now solve. So I set my 3x plus 4 equal to my 2x minus 5. In order to solve it, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides to get the x's together. 3x minus 2x is 1x, plus 4 is equal to negative 5. need to get the x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. I get x is equal to negative 9. So we took the mx plus b from one equation, set it equal to the mx plus b from the other equation to come up with our new equation, our substituted equation. Then we solved, and we got x equals negative 9. The problem is, that's only half of the answer. Remember, the answer to a system of equations is always an x comma y point. We just found the x value. We still need the y. So what do you do? You plug it in. Go back to either of your original equations. I don't care which one it is. y equals 3x plus 4. I just got that equation back here from the original problem. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the x out. Because the x isn't unknown anymore. The x we have found is negative 9. So you put negative 9 in for x, and we solve. 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. Negative 27 plus 4 is negative 23. That is our y value. So to summarize, the substitution method says take the x value, I'm sorry, take the mx plus b value from one equation, take the mx plus b value from another equation, and set them equal. Make a new equation out of it. Once you have your new equation, Solve it, that gets you the x value, take that x value, and this is the part people always forget, take that x value, plug it back into one of the original equations, and solve to get the y value. That gives you your point, I apologize, I didn't get my 20 three written there.
That's how you solve a system of equations using the substitution method.